Glove failure can occur to surgical gloves due to mechanical failure and micro perforations during use, increasing risk to surgical staff and patients. Gloves are intended to act as a barrier, but they are prone to failure due to reasons while in use. The complexity of a surgical procedure may present a problem, especially in an emergency. The less surgical and aseptic experience of the glove wearer increases the perforation risk to the gloves. The risk of perforation increases with the duration of operating time, significantly so after two hours. Highest risk of glove perforations occur with specific specialities due to the type and sharpness of surfaces coming into contact with the glove. Long fingernails may cause the glove to tear. Perforation can occur from constant friction or mechanical forces put on gloves while in use. As well as degradation due to chemicals gloves may come into contact with. Up to 82% of glove perforations by the surgical team during surgery go undetected. There are benefits to double gloving and with a coloured underglove. Double gloving reduces the volume of blood on the solid suture needle by up to 95% as it passes through the two layers of gloves. Double gloving reduces direct skin contamination in 82% of cases when gloves are perforated. Double gloving reduces the time that surgical staff are exposed to the patient's blood. Identification of a perforation is increased in 86% of cases when wearing a coloured inner glove, leading to more appropriate outer glove changes. Despite the amount of evidence supporting the benefits of double gloving, there is still low adherence in some users. Some glove users may believe that double gloving affects surgical performance and is only required for certain procedures. By saying yes to double gloving, performance need not be affected and with the right gloves can be adapted in a short space of time with surgical staff reducing the risk of pathogen transmission.